Hey everyone, welcome to the Try To Be Iron Triathlon and Endurance channel. Now, if you're new around here, if you've just come across this video or you've stumbled across the channel somehow, uh, a big welcome to you. But this video looks at why I literally decided to take the plunge with the Lumi Recovery Ice Pod. <music> Right now, just for clarity and transparency, I am no way associated with Lumi. This isn't a sponsored video or anything like that, so don't think it is. I decided to purchase this product with my own money, but the question is why? Why did I decide to invest in an ice recovery pod and take the plunge into ice water therapy? Right, there is a couple of reasons, and I'm gonna be totally honest with you. The question is, am I influenced by others? And the simple answer to that is yes, I am influenced by others. Outside influences play a huge part in our lives if you think about social media and the amount of times you see things. Um, so that's definitely played a part, but my coach is a big advocate of uh, ice dipping and does it fairly frequently, uh, whether that's in a lake or in his garden. Uh, my adapted endurance athletes, teammates, you know, they're all getting involved in it. Not everyone, but you know, a lot of them are, are taking the plunge in this as well. Do I want to be left out? No, of course I don't. I don't want to be left out into this as well, but there are some really serious or other serious reasons as to why I've decided to, to try this out. Okay, so let's now take a serious approach and think about the science behind it because there is valid science behind this and um, there is no doubt that, you know, ice dipping has some beneficial effects for uh, mental health and mental well-being, but it's also got that uh, added bonus for recovery. And I'll be honest here, it's not the mental health benefits that I'm necessarily after, but I'm more interested in it from a recovery point of view. We know that ice baths have been used in sports science for considerable time now, and as I'm getting older and I'm really starting to think about recovery, getting my body ready for the next session and, and you know, keeping it moving and keeping it going as best as it can and preparing again for another marathon. So recovery, I'm starting to take a lot more seriously in my approach. And lastly, my final reason, which I think is a very valid one, is if I think back to my last two seasons in triathlon, I've struggled early on with cold water immersion. And um, I think back to the last two seasons where my first race, I've had some cold water uh, shock in that race and it, and it's, it's scary to a point where yeah you wonder how you're going to get through it luckily i did i overcame it in, during the during the race segment and and i was fine and I, I was able to carry on but it isn't a pleasant feeling and i'm thinking that if i can use this as part of my preparation for the early season races i can't see why it won't benefit that as well. So there you go, there's my three main reasons. I've had the bath now just over a couple of weeks and um, I'm using it more and more. Initially I started off with just submerging my legs uh, but now I'm getting to the point where I am submerging my whole body and I can last a little bit longer than <laughs> 10 seconds uh, that I was initially doing. One thing we haven't had is any cold snaps uh, since I've had this bath and I missed the last one just. <laughs> So it'll be interesting to see what it's like during that and when I've got to break ice and, and get in it and how long I can last in it and those sorts of things. I mean, it hasn't been massively cold. It's cold, it's cold enough for me, but it hasn't been massively cold and I've been able to take that. But it'll be interesting to see when we get the next cold snap and how I react and how long I can stay in it. It is getting dark. I'm gonna, it's just about to pour with rain. Wait one second, let me sort the lights out. Right, hopefully you can see me a bit better now, but it is about to pour with rain again. Anyway, so over the Christmas period, I am gonna be using my ice bath a lot more. I've got two weeks off. Uh, what I have found is that it's really good and make, it freshens your legs up, particularly when you've done a long or a hard run or you've done a heavy weight set in the gym. So yeah, for that purpose, I'm starting to definitely see 
the benefit of it. So there you go guys, there's some initial thoughts, but it's very positive so far in my experience of the Lumi Ice Recovery Pod. Um, hope you've enjoyed this one. If you're new around here, do hit the sub button because it is really much appreciated. And if you haven't seen the other video, which I'm not quite sure when this is coming out, if it's coming out before or after the next one on the Lumi setup and initial thoughts, go check that one out as well.